Part of the market is doing tremendous. It's booming, and that's it, the market under $750,000. If you have a home in that market, you have a 75% chance that your house is gonna sell within the year that you put it on the market. In Birmingham, they sell for roughly 98% of the asking price, and particularly under 500,000, it's a 100% sales rate. Where the difference comes is when you go over $750,000. From September last year to September this year, in the Birmingham market, 652 homes came to market and 331 of them sold through. That is a 50% sales rate. If you then go to 1.5 million and up, the sales rate drops down to 40%. That means that out of 10 homes, four of them are gonna sell and six of them aren't. If you move away from the walkable neighborhoods of Mountain Brook, that number drops from 40% down to 35%. And for the 750 to 1.5 million, it drops from 50% down to 45%. So why is this happening? Why is it so difficult to sell homes like this? This is a home in Liberty Park. It's a million dollar home and it's been on the market for over a year. And why is that? Well, we can trace it back to 1960 uh, in May of 1960. And that was when the Food and Drug Administration approved the sale of the first birth control pill. You heard me right. It's the sale of the first birth control pill because as a result of that, Generation X, which follows the baby boomer generation, is 25% smaller than the baby boomer generation. So just in that, we know that our buyer pool is 25% smaller. Add to that, it, the Generation X bought their first home in the late 90s and then upgraded in the boom of the real estate market in the early 2000s and upgraded to a, a larger home. And then we hit them with the subprime crisis and the r real estate crisis in 2008 and they lost the equity of their home if they were lucky. If they weren't so lucky, they lost their home and they lost their jobs. So that market, that group of people are not in a position to buy these homes and to buy these expensive homes. Then we have the millennials. What are, what's their situation? They don't want them and they can't afford them. They're strapped with debt. They're strapped with education debt and they're living in apartments and smaller homes and many of them are still living with their parents. So they are not buyers of the, these homes. So what's going to happen here? What's going to happen to this house? Well, let me tell you, it's going to get worse. We're in the middle of the baby boomer sell-off. The situation is that in 2011, 9,000 baby boomers started turning 65 every day. 9,000 every day. We are now looking at every day, 9,000 more people want to downsize, want to uh, move to closer to their, their children or their grandchildren, and they're putting their houses on the market. And as I quoted the numbers to you, of 100 of them that come on the market, particularly over $750,000, 40% of them are going to sell. Well, what happens to the rest of them? Part of them expire and people decide, well, we'll age in place until this market changes. Part of them um, just stay on the market. There are houses that have been on the market five, 10 years in some of our gated communities. So that situation is growing. The inventory is growing. Now I said the situation's going to get worse. What did I mean by that? Well, as we approach 2023, the first baby boomer will hit 77 years old and the baby boomer's life expectancy is right now 77. So we will enter the baby boomer die off. And what does that mean? That means the owner of this house will will it to their children. The children live 500 miles, a thousand miles away. They're going to say to a realtor, put it on the market and turn it into cash. So the prices of these homes will just drop, drop and drop until they become 
unpassable. You have to buy them because they're so cheap. So as you as a, you as a seller, what are your options? What, what do you need to do? First of all, you need to make your house very saleable. And that is to say, if it looks like your grandmother's house, they aren't going to buy it. If the hardwood floors and the kitchen cabinets are the same color, they aren't going to buy it. If it's not updated, they're not going to buy it. If you've got plastic fruit and plastic plants all over the house, they're not going to buy it. Remember, there are t for every 10 houses on the market, only four will be purchased. The best price, the best condition, and the best house will sell the others won't. And you need to make that part of your plan to sell homes. The other thing is you need to get it done. Because as I said, once we get to 2023, this situation will start to snowball and it will start to get worse. Now, there is something else you need to know. Who are buying these homes? Well, you ask yourself, who, bought, who built them? And the answer to that question is they were built by the baby boomers. Why did the baby boomers buy these kind or build these kind of houses? This isn't what they grew up in. No, they grew up in small little homes in, in the inner city. But why did they build these homes? They built them because they wanted to show their peer group that they had made it. They went to law school, they went to medical school, they graduated from a university, and now they're doctors, they're lawyers, they're bankers, they're financial advisors, they're in entrepreneurs, and they've got money. And they want to live in a gated community where they have golf courses and they have uh, exquisite dining and they have swimming pools for their children and their children can learn tennis, and that's what they wanted and that's what they built. Okay? Now, as I said, Generation X can't afford them. They don't want them. They don't want the high price. They don't want the HOA dues. They don't want the utilities. They don't want the taxes. Okay, so we know the problem. Now, what's the solution? How do we get these homes sold? We have to market them. We have to market them like a Lamborghini, like a Ferrari, like they're something special because they are. The other thing that's important that I do is I show up for every showing of my home. Other agents bring their buyers, I'm there. I walk them through the home, I get to know them. I know who they are. What I have learned is that 60% of the people who come to see these homes here in Birmingham now today are either African American, they're foreign nationals, or they're foreigners. As I go through the house with them and their agent, I learn what they're looking for. I learn their likes and their dislikes. I then tell them, I've got another house that I think is appropriate for you. Here, go to my website, watch the video on it. I do an eight minute to a 14 minute video on every house that I list. I walk them through it and I show it to them. I sell it like a Ferrari. I sell it like a Lamborghini. So I have an advantage of knowing who's in the market, what they're looking for, and how my listings fit their needs. The situation's going to get worse. As I said, we're in the baby boomer sell-off. 2023, we move into the baby boomer die-off. You're gonna have at one end of the baby boomer generation retiring 9,000 people every day. At the other hand, you're going to have dying 9,000 people every day. Now you've doubled the number of homes that are going to come to the market. The children own those homes and they want out of them. They live 500 miles away. They don't want the maintenance on this house. They don't want the electric and gas and, and water bill on it. And they don't want the property taxes that have just doubled because their parents died and they lost their homestead exemption. Then they've got to pay the HOA dues on it. Some of these houses accumulate with nothing, no one living in them, four or $5,000 worth of cost per month. The kids don't want it. They'll turn it into cash and we will then see the ultimate effect of the crisis. So what do you gotta do? You have gotta price your house right, you have gotta update it, and you've got to get people in it to see it and fall in love with it. That's what I do for a living. My name is Kerry Grinkmeyer. I own bestofushomes.com and my phone number is 205-919-6006. Call me, Birmingham.
and we'll sell your home.